is the ruling of the first instance division of this court hearing after the head speaker of the Yara. In the reference, she complained against certain actions and decisions of Yara and its commitment. We take the view that it would be premature at this stage to forestall our evidence on the pretext that it does not comply with the provisions of Section 20 of the said Act. We do nonetheless reiterate our position herein that the said Act is very community law and must be complied with by all witnesses that seek to adduce evidence that fits within the parameters thereof. The only exception in this regard will be the cause of the Assembly who, as we have held about, was summoned as a witness in this matter, pursuant to our court order. We also take note of the wise prescription in some of the constitutions of the partner states, such as those of Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania, which provide that in exercising the judicial function, the courts of justice shouldn't do substantial justice without undue regard to technicalities of procedure. Thank you very much, and I wish to open my comment by saying God is good, and God is great, and God is just. And I want to say that this is a very, very big milestone, because in effect, uh, the counsel for the respondent in all this case had come here to try and block the case. I'm seeking to be reinstated. Definitely, I've gone, gone through a lot of anguish a lot of pain. My family has gone through a lot of anguish and pain. I want that which you can't even quantify. This is the technical knockout on round one. That's what you'd call it. Uh, this has been a delaying tactic employed by the, the, the lawyers for the community to delay and derail this trial. I think today's decision by the appellate division of the East African Court of Justice has made our client overcome the biggest challenge that or stumbling block that has been put across by the, the East African Community Secretary General. They have been trying to block the documents that she has to rely on to prove her case that she was illegally removed from office by arguing the Privileges Act. The, 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 you know the privileges that the Assembly has. But the court, this court has said, let that matter be.